Hi everyone, my name is Erin and I'm the Outdoor Program Manager and Camp Director from Camp Sherman with Girl Scouts of Orange County. Hi, I'm Izzy and I'm a Junior Girl Scout. Excellent. Today, we are going to make banana boats and this is part of the Daisy Buddy Camper Batch. So, before you do any cooking, it's really important that you wash your hands and we're going to wash our hands for 20 seconds. And while you're washing your hands, you can sing Make New Friends or the Happy Birthday song two times. So sing with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other is gold. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other is gold. Excellent. Now that your hands are clean, make sure that your hair is tied back. If you'd like to have an apron or a napkin or a towel around your waist to wipe your hands, you can certainly do so. And now to get ready for our cooking adventure, you want to make sure you have a banana, some marshmallows, some chocolate chips, and some wax paper if you're going to make it in the microwave, which is what we're going to do today. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your banana and you're going to open it and peel one side from the inside curb first. And this is an easy thing that you can do when you're outside on doing outdoor trips with your friends or your family or your troop. Yep, all the way down and then we'll reconnect it. So, once you've peeled off the top part, you're gonna go ahead and take your spoon and you're gonna scoop out some of the inside of the banana, just like this. Perfect. And you wanna create a nice, little bowl for your all your tasty treats to go in. If you have extra banana pieces, you can put them in an extra bowl. Go ahead and do a little bit more. Excellent. So, once you get started, because I'm already in the room, you want to make sure that you have an adult in there to help you in case you need extra supplies. So once you've carved out the inside of your banana, go ahead and take your chocolate chips and line them all along the inside. Perfect, just drop them in. So you can use a one fourth cup of chocolate chips or you can use as many as your adult allows. Fill in that spot right there. Perfect. Now, once you've done your chocolate chips, you can go ahead and take your marshmallows. If you have big marshmallows, then you wanna break them into smaller pieces. If you have mini marshmallows, you can just line them on top of your chocolate chips. put it on. And remember, every banana boat is going to look different. This is your banana boat, so you create it how you want. If you don't like bananas, you can scoop out the inside of an apple. If you don't like chocolate, you can melt some Nutella. There's so many different options that you can use. Once you have your chocolate chips and your marshmallows, you're going to take your banana peel and put it back on your banana. And you're gonna grab some wax paper. Why don't you grab that paper and put it on the plate? Perfect. Once you have your wax paper, you're gonna wrap up your banana. Go ahead and wrap it all the way up nice and tight. All right, now, 
because we're not using an open fire, we're gonna put it in the microwave on the plate for one minute. Now, depending on your microwave, will depend on how much time it needs to spend in there. It might be 45 seconds, it might be 30 seconds. Go ahead and put it in for one minute and we'll see. All right. So, while it's cooking, did you get to do anything different with this dessert that you've never done before? And imagine how, how lovely it will smell when you're doing it outside on the coals. So if you're choosing to do it on a barbecue, you wanna wait until the coals have all died down and the fire is gone and you're gonna wrap it in foil nice and tight and put it right on the coals. Have some tongs handy and that's once it's on there for a few minutes, you can take it off and eat it right out of the foil. All right, let's go see what it looks like. Go ahead and pull it out. All right, unwrap it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at that. Take the top part off. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. You wanna take a bite? Okay. And you can poke a little bit into it, let it cool off. One thing you can do is imagine that you are on a camping trip with your troop or your family and it's your turn to decide what meal you're gonna cook. What would you love to cook over a campfire? Something. Did you know that anything can be cooked over an open fire? You can make brownies, you can make lasagna. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, the possibilities are endless. And remember, cooking is an adventure. So go outside and find your adventure.